Good day students, welcome to map.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over part one of seven of our practices calculator skills. We're going to be looking at how to store, approximate, and find exact results of entries into the TI-30XS calculator. All right, so let's take a look at um, this example right here, question number one. Uh, it states if a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 9, find the square root of b square minus a square in exact and approximate forms. All right, so first things first, um, let's specify the mode of our desired output. Do we want exact or approximate? So if we look at exact, um, for this, this calculator, it just basically means that if you have an irrational output, if your answer is an irrational number, it will be expressed in irrational form. But if you have an approximate form, everything will be expressed um, as decimals. Alrighty? So that's the difference. So let's take a look at the exact format first. So how do we know the exact format? Um, you press the mode button in the calculator, and then you scroll down to the uh, fourth row. You notice that the buttons that I'm, the sequence of buttons I'm pressing are appearing on the right side here, so you can keep track of it. And then move your cursor one space to the right. Math print represents exact format, and classic represents approximate form. If your answer is in um, is in an irrational format, then it will be rounded up for you. Okay. All right. So we want exact first, and after we we'll do exact, we'll change the mode, and then we'll do um, approximate. So we have math print selected uh, because it's highlighted here. Quit. Let's proceed with the storing of the values into the variables. We'll start with 7. So we're going to have 7 stored in the A position. So there's your store button right there. STO means store. So press it once. So that arrow means 7 is going to be placed into a, a particular variable. So this button right here. If you take a look at this button, it has um, seven variables assigned to it. So this particular button is seven in one, actually eight in one with a second function. So all you just do is press it multiple times until the desired variable appears on the screen and then you just stop, okay? So we are storing seven in A, so we just keep pressing this button until the A variable appears. All right, let's do it. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. So if you press it five times, if you look here, it tells you that uh, it was pressed five times. That has the A variable, press enter. So seven has been stored in A. Now we're going to have nine stored in the B position. So store B, I'm going to press this, um, I'm guessing six times. For the B to show up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Voila, there you go press enter. All right, you always have to press enter after the store um, expression is entered um, into your calculator. Okay. All right. So now we want to find what the square root of B square minus A square is. So you press second function square root. Um, then we're going to have B square. So let's enter that. So B, you go back to this button and press it until you have the B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, B square. You can use this button right here, X square, or you can use carrot two. So B square minus A square. So go back to this button. You're gonna press it five times. One, two, three, four, five, that's A. And I use square or carrot two. So I'm just gonna use square. Okay. Um, and then press enter. So this is the exact form. Notice that is expressed in irrational form for root two. Okay, this is the exact form. So the answer to this expression, um, let's write it down, square root of b square minus a square is equal to four root two. How about the approximate value? Of this what is the approximate value of this let's also take a look at the approximate form um, you should know how to do both with your calculator all right so the approximate form go back to mode and can you guess what it's gonna be remember math print is exact and classic is the 
approximate form. So you scroll down, press enter, classic is selected, quit. All right, so we have we already have A and B stored there. If you want to check, you can just call them up. If I call up A, press enter, C7. If I call up B, enter, C9. So if I do what I did before, again, the square root of, square root of what? The square root of B square minus A square, or you could just do four root two if you want to check, but I'm just going to do the whole thing again. Uh, B square minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A square, press enter, and your answer is now in uh, approximate form, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 decimal places, so let's round it to 3 decimal places, it's going to be 5.657, 5 5.657, and that's what the answer is in um, approximate form, okay? All right, so we're going to give you one problem to try out, and then uh, we're going to go over what the answer is. All right, so question number two is a little bit more challenging. So consider this situation. If, if um, x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 7, We'd like you to find what is the value of the expression x squared plus the square root of x squared plus y squared. Want to find this in exact and approximate forms. Exact and approximate forms. So you're going to give me two answers, just like we did with problem number one. All right, so go ahead and Pause this video presentation at this time and work on number two. When you're done, click on the playback button and we are going to reveal what the answer is. Alrighty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the problem, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, okay, so let's do, let's, um, do the um, exact form first. So go to mode and we are going to, wait, let me clear my history first. So you can see the exact sequence of um, buttons that I'm pressing. So you can follow perfectly. All right, so go to mode first and let's specify what format we want our answer. Math print means exact, okay? Irrational outputs will not be expressed in decimal form, but will be expressed in its irrational form, all right? So we have the, mode, the format together. Now uh, let's store, all righty? 9 will be stored in x, 1, just press it once, enter, 9 stored in x, 7 will be stored in y, 1, 2, press it twice, bam, and then we're now looking at x raised to the second power plus the square root of x raised to the second power plus 1, 2, that's y raised to the second power enter your answer ladies and gentlemen in exact form is um root 81 plus root 180 let's put it in that format um so x square plus root x square plus y square answer is let's just let me put in the format of the calculator okay so it's root 130 plus 81 that's the exact answer okay how about the approximate form? Let's look at the approximate form. So for the approximate form, um, I'm going to press mode and go to classic. Okay. Enter, enter, quit, quit that window. And let me enter the answer I entered before, which is root 180 plus 81. That's just a shortcut. I don't want to do the whole thing again. So root 130 plus, close the parentheses plus 81 enter bam it gives us the answer in approximate form so 92.402 to three decimal places and there you have it alrighty so ladies and gentlemen this is how you use the TI 30 excess calculator to store values in a variable uh, and evaluate expressions expressing your answer in exact and approximate forms. 
If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies um, of how to use a calculator, please support our channel by giving us a like or a thumbs up. That's extremely valuable to us. Um, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload mad videos to our page on a regular basis. If you have any special requests as to how to use the TI-30XS calculator for any particular feature or any general questions, um, just put it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to compose a tutorial to help you out with that. Do visit our website for mathgots at mathgotserve.com for tons of support resources to help you to be successful in your math course. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.